Okay, dude, we are live. People can see you. Put your clothes on. <laughs> uh, you know, this is, welcome to our daily dose of awesome. You, you're live 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get started right. Today's topic is for the home business owner who is already using Facebook, the Facebook ad platform to generate leads and sales for their business. The topic being advanced Facebook ad tips and lead generation strategies. Uh, my name is Freni Savalas. I'm a lead generation expert, online marketing expert, specializing in helping home business owners, including network marketers, direct sellers, affiliate marketers, online marketers, multiply their incomes using the internet. Today I have a very special guest who will be delivering today's today's training. I have Mr. Sebastian Asaf. Let me oh, let me put the camera on you, brother. Okay, people can see you now. You're no longer hidden from the world. What's up, dude? How's it going? Going great, man. I love the way you say my last name. Because it sounds like almost royal or imperial when you say it. Asaf. Is it wrong? <laughs> Is it wrong? No, it's, it's cool. I don't really know if there's a right way to say it. I say Asaf. Um, some people say Asaf. Some people, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's all over the place. So I just, I let anything fly. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really all good. Awesome, brother. Well, the, the floor is yours, man. You got the floor for the next 15 minutes. I will cool. stay here quietly and uh, listen, like everybody else. Awesome, awesome. Cool, 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 cool. So let's uh, jump right in. Um, now that we're doing video with these daily dose of awesomes, I was just—I don't know if you saw me with the marker. I was just preparing some little, some little, uh, some kind of like slides, I guess you could say, just to kind of have a little bit of fun. Um, you know, I, I did this to uh, to remind anyone watching that you're awesome. Okay, and you know, it's just to, to to have a good time, and it'll be more engaging. I think it'll. It also it also connect the dots a little bit more. If I'm talking about certain concepts and you don't have to like really I'm a visual guy. If I if I see something, it makes a lot more sense than just hearing it. So I think this is really cool that we're doing the, the Facebook lives. Um so last week uh, I was I was on with you guys and covered some basic stuff on Facebook pay per click. Um so you know if you are uh, if you don't know really if you've never run a Facebook ad and you're, you're really completely new to this, and you're going to want to go back to that uh, recording and, and listen to that. This, so this call makes a lot more sense. Um, you know, I went over some stuff like what a campaign is, what an ad set is, what your ad is, and the purpose of each one of them. Um, and, and we ended the call talking about, you know, uh, where, what you can focus on. And my suggestion being focusing on a, a clicks to website ad, uh, a clicks to website campaign, you should specify. Um, to have the best results. So, in today's call, I mean, I only have 15 minutes, but I'm looking to cover five things for you guys. Uh, one is going to be the four metrics that you got to look at um, to evaluate, you know, how well your your ad or in your campaign is performing. Uh, two, the concept of split testing your ads and split testing your ad sets to improve those metrics um, and those results. Um, I'm going to cover one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of uh, new marketers making on Facebook with Facebook pay-per-click and how to avoid it. And uh, a really cool tool that you can use um, to, to be able to, to find niche markets okay, on Facebook. And lastly, I'm going to talk a little bit about some mindset stuff um, to, to, really, to really get yourself in the game and, 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 and moving towards results so you don't, you know, uh, quit when you're three feet from gold. Okay, so uh, to get started, there are four metrics that when you're running an ad, you're going to want to look at. All right, and you're going to kind of want to almost ignore the other metrics. Not that you want to ignore them, but they're they're not as relevant. There's just four things that you really want to look at when you're evaluating your ads. So slide number one gets to come out, and I hope that it's not showing up backwards because on my camera it shows up backwards. But uh, Fernie, uh, you said earlier that it does say you're awesome, so if it, I hope it's reading front like normally. Um, I know front end cameras can kind of like reverse it sometimes. So, so number yeah, one, it looks fine. Looks fine, cool. So number one is your relevance score. Two are your link clicks. Three is your cost per click for your link, and four is your click through ratio for your link. I'm going to specify again. One, the relevance score. So the relevance score is is a score. Uh, score one to ten. All right. It's just it's simply how Facebook evaluates how well your audience is responding to your ad. So your audience being the people you're targeting, your ad set. So 
when you're targeting an audience and you have an ad and they're not, they're, they don't correlate really well, they're not really relevant, well, you're going to get a lower score. An example that I like to use is if you have an ad of a nice, juicy, uh, you know, uh, rib steak and you're targeting vegetarians, your relevant score is going to be zero, right? Because there's, it's not relevant. So that's the first metric that you want to look at and you want to focus on improving, making sure that there's a really strong connection with your ad and the people that you're targeting, all right? And so the next thing that you have to ask yourself is, well, how many clicks did I get to my ad? But more specifically, I wrote link clicks, okay? There's two metrics that Facebook is going to show on your, on your, when you're evaluating your campaigns. There's all clicks and link clicks. And so you don't want to look at all clicks because those could be, you know, um, likes, comments, shares. You really want to look at link clicks because those are the clicks that can turn into leads that can turn in, and those leads turn into sales and sales and income. So the money clicks are your link clicks. Very important to remember. And then so there's two metrics, at, two metrics after that that are going to help you evaluate how well that, that ad is performing. So that's your cost per click for each one of these link clicks, all right? How much are you paying per click? Um, and and I'll, I'll get into, you know, there's some people like ask me, you know, what is a good cost per click to have? And that answer is, is really is, 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 um, is dependent on on how many clicks it takes you to get a lead and how many leads it takes you to get a sale. So it depends on your conversion ratios. Um, but based on, you know, what some of us have seen, especially with Lead Marketing Pro blog posts, if you've got, uh, you know, a 50 cent cost per click or lower, then you should be in a really good space. And then lastly, click-through ratio, um, the amount of people that have seen your ad, the percentage of the people who clicked on your link to the people who have seen your ad. And so, uh, again, it's going to be dependent, right? Um, it's going to be dependent on uh, on your conversion ratios. But based on what we've experienced, uh, if you have a two percent click-through ratio or higher, that's a good place. That's a good goal to aim for uh, when it comes to a click-through ratio. And so, you know, after you've seen all of these numbers after running an ad, well, then you really want to ask yourself, how do you, how do you improve how do you improve your numbers, right? How do you how do you get better? So let's just say your 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 click cost per click is not fifty cents. Maybe it's a dollar. Maybe it's two dollars. Maybe it's five, right? Maybe your click through ratio is not two percent. Maybe it's point uh, point five, right? And so, how do you improve those numbers? Well, that's that's where the concept of split testing comes in. Split testing is is a concept that will allow you to to change certain things, try new things with the hopes of getting better results. And so, you know, we, first thing that, that, that you have to understand is it's testing, right? As marketers, we make assumptions. We make assumptions as to why, you know, first of all, even going with the campaign, we, we have to assume that that campaign is going to have the results that we want it to have, if not right away, um, you know, eventually, right? And so we need to test different things inside of our, our marketing funnel to move towards the ideal outcome that we initially wanted. And so when you're, when you're running an ad on Facebook, all right, uh, let's just say, you, well, you're running a campaign, a clicks to website campaign again, right? And so you have an audience that you're targeting and an ad that, is tar that, that you're, you're showing to that audience. Well, those are two things that you can split test individually. So for example, in your ad, you can, uh, you, you might have a certain image and that gave you certain results. Well, maybe create another ad with a different image, test out a different image to be able to see if that image will give you better results, right? Maybe the image is what was giving you these results and if you change it to a, a different image, it'll give you better ones. I, and then secondly, there's your ad set, all right? The audience, perhaps the audience that you're targeting is not a very engaged audience. Perhaps it's not an audience that's really interested in, the, in what the, the ad is promoting. Um, and so maybe you need to test out a different audience. So I, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example here. And, and so I wrote here just ad or ad set, right? But you have to really have two, right? So you start with, you start with one, right? And then you create a similar one that is slightly different, 
all right? So maybe it's just the image that's different. Or maybe you change the headline. Maybe it's the ad set, and instead of targeting just one country, you target a different country. Or maybe you target a different age range, right? And so each one of these is going to be a separate ad set. I'm just having fun doing this, but each one of these is going to be a different ad set or a different ad. And so you want to you want to you want to have fun with this, right? And actually do a fair amount of testing. You don't just want to do it once, and at the same time, overkill won't help you that much either. Um, so, you know, here's the question that comes up a lot: is is and it's actually here's one of the things you want to avoid right away. First, first of all, the mistake that I see a lot of people making. And so this is a this is just to make sure that you do not do this. It's a big no no. Okay, so I only have like one other slide. If so <laughs> it's getting annoying, um, do not edit your 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 ad set or your ad and while the traffic is running to it. So if, if you're running traffic to an ad or an ad set, don't go in um, after it's been viewed, say, 500 or 1,000 times, edit it, and let it run some more. Because all that's going to do is skew your results, and you're going to have to have your own tracking system to, to find out what change you made, what time you made it, and what, what the results were up to then. So what you want to do is once you've, once you've let your ad run long enough to get the data that you're looking for, all right, so let's just say if it's a relevance score that you're looking for, then it's 500 views. If it's, um, if it's you know, a lead that you're looking for, well, maybe you want to let it run for more than 500 views. Maybe you want to let it run for you know, a certain number of clicks, right? Um, and so once you've gotten the data, you want to turn that ad or ad set off. When you turn it off, all you're pretty much saying is Facebook stop running traffic to this ad or stop running traffic to this ad set. I don't want to pay any more for it. Um, I want to, to, to start running traffic to my second version, which has the edits in the second version, right? And so that's where you want to click a simple button that's in your ads manager, which is create similar. So there's a button where you can you have the option usually it's right next to the edit button. You can either edit or create a similar one. And so you want to create a similar one. Then what that's going to do is it's going to create a clone of your previous one and you can go in and edit the clone. So like that you have your version two. Second mistake actually, and I didn't even mention the second mistake that most people make then is they make too many changes at once. Right? And so you want to determine what you assume might be the, the, the main factor uh, giving you those certain results and so you want to just change that one thing so maybe it's the image maybe it's the headline uh, maybe it's the interest but go in and just change that one thing for your new ad set because if you change multiple things again you're not going to know what produced the different results if you go in and change the interest the age range the, the gender and, and you target a whole different uh, ad so you're going to get new results but what really was it that gave you those new results it's a combination Right, so you want to find out what's the best ad set to target that's going to give you the best results, and what's the best ad to show to that ad set that's going to give you the best results. All right, so um, you know when it comes to split testing, like I said, you can split test in your ads, your images, or your headline. In your ad set, you can split test anything from the country, the age range, the gender, the interest, the placement. Right, but if you're thinking about um, about what to split test, especially when it comes to ad sets. All right, there's a really cool tool that you can use. It's called the Audience Insights Tool. If you click inside your Ads Manager, you should find that, that tool. Again, I didn't write it down, so it's the Audience Insights Tool. When you click on the Audience Insights Tool, you'll have a little uh, column on your left-hand side that looks identical to like when you're creating an ad set. And inside there, you can enter in information like when you're creating your ad set. And the, 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 the most interesting thing is when you type in an interest in the Audience Insights tool. Because when you type in an interest, Facebook will generate information for all the users on Facebook that like that interest, and it will give you similar pages that the, that audience likes. And so from there, you can find other interests that are similar but different to target. And so if ever you're worried about, about too many people who are targeting the audience that you're targeting, well. There you go. You can go ahead and target another audience right there. So I highly recommend using the Audience Insights tool. Um, very, very, very uh, good research tool. Spend some time looking at some of these audiences, and when they give you the list of pages, click on the pages, take a look at them, take a look at their posts, 
see if uh, the, they have an engaged audience. And if they do, well, then that might be a really cool interest to target, okay? Um, lastly, uh, I know I'm, at, I'm pretty much at time, but uh, I want to talk about, you know, a mindset shift, all right? So, so really, this is supposed to be the, 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 the light bulb moment, okay? So this is a light bulb. <laughs> and it's really, um, it's really the concept of not thinking about this like a lottery ticket, right? Um, you know, it, it's really cool when you see some, some the potential that, that these types of ads can have. I mean, Fernie himself, he, he's shown case studies of some of his where the ROI is, is, is just, it, it's just ridiculous, right? <laughs> um, and so it's sometimes easy to get, to get, you know, um, to get into the mindset that, you know, oh, I, I want to produce that too, and it's okay to want to produce that. It's really good. You, you, should, you should strive for, for producing results like that. But if you don't hit it right away, you know, don't, don't give up right away because that's, that's the biggest mistake you can make because you, Fernie himself, he's gone through his own testing that he's done, you know, and, and anyone who's had results on Facebook will, will surely share with you that they've also had, uh, you know, ads that have not worked and ad sets that have not given them results that they were looking for. And they've, they've tested until they, they, they got to those, those places. So, so you need to be consistent. You need to have yourself, you know, uh, have that mindset of I'm going to just keep doing this at a steady pace until I hit the numbers that, I, that I'm looking for and then I can scale up. Um, and so, so just keep going at it until you get the results you're looking for. And once you do, then you can start scaling up. Um, you know, there, there is one thing that I said I was going to cover here, um, and I didn't really cover it, so I'm just going to go a little bit over. If that's cool. Uh, just to cover uh, how to, how to, you know, get a profitable ad. Um, and it's, it's really, it's, it's not that complicated. Right, so I said that you have to calculate your cost per click and your click-through ratio, but let's just say your cost per click, right? If it takes you um, 10 clicks to get a lead, and then it takes you five leads to get a sale, well then you just simply calculate how much it costs you to get that sale, right? And so you just focus on increasing your conversions and reducing those numbers until your, your ad spend equals or is less than the, the sale that you bring in. And then you're going to be having a profitable campaign. So that's what you want to be striving for, because that's when you can start scaling up your advertising. Um, lastly, last, 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 last concept. And if you've read the attraction marketing formula, you know about this principle. But you ink, all right. You got to be thinking about incorporating your unique value into your advertising, even on Facebook, because that will that will give you. Uh, a real edge, a real advantage over your competition because as people are seeing so much of the same online, if you add in your unique um, you, what you can bring to the table, your experiences, your knowledge, your stories, when you bring that and incorporate it into your advertising, people are going to notice and, and you'll be branding yourself as well. Um, so further just building that brand equity for yourself. And so look for ways that you can incorporate yourself into your advertising and add that unique value that you can bring to the marketplace. And um, with that, again, that's my 15 minutes for today for the Daily Dose of Awesome. And remember, you're awesome too. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate that. And uh, I wanted to, uh, one, acknowledge you. I mean, you've become a uh, traffic master here at EMP in, in a very short period of time. And, now you, you coach many of our members, VIP members, you provide them uh, actual hot seat training where you actually review their ads and then uh, the entire community uh, uh, can actually watch. So anyone that's, uh, that's on this call right now, uh, you wanna learn more about EMP, go to EliteMarketingPro.com, go under products and you can sign up as a member and actually be with Sebastian on these calls and actually have your advertising reviewed. Now if you wanna learn how to do advertising, bearing in mind that this call is meant for people that are already doing Facebook uh, PPC, then there's a link in the description of this video and you could actually opt in and, and, uh, and register for a webinar that'll actually uh, have uh, our, our CEO, Tim Irway, actually walk you through some of those campaigns that I've actually run where I've gotten, like Sebastian said, up to a 1400% ROI. You know, that I didn't, I didn't misspeak there, 1400% ROI. And so, uh, you know, so I actually walk you through the actual campaign 
I show you the actual ad, how it worked, why it worked. Um, so Tim and I uh, conduct that webinar. So go go register for that webinar. I think we're having one uh, today, actually. So uh, EliteMarketingPro.com, go there, register for that webinar. And, we, and uh, there's another tip I wanted to give on top of the, the, the metrics that you pointed out. Uh, Sebastian, I've recently learned that uh, looking at uh, the reach, total reach of a certain ad, uh, if you have a reach of, of, uh, of about 3,000, uh, and that should also tell you that the numbers, your metrics have actually settled in uh, because there's enough people that have viewed the ad where the Facebook algorithm has done its work and evaluated your ad properly. So that's another thing. I, I still like to see clicks, uh, but the reach is a good indicator. Now, there's a couple of questions here. If advertising a blog by Fernie, do you think saying my mentor wrote this I, I I've seen this done. What do you What do you think? I'll, I'll let you answer that. So so hold on. What what could you if, explain if, the question? If if advertising a blog by Fernie, do you think saying, quote unquote, my mentor wrote this, uh, is a good thing to do? Well, you know, you could you could write my mentor wrote this to 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 say you know to to it, it's cool to have a mentor. You know, it, it's cool to to do that. I, I would test it out for sure. Um, at the same time, I wouldn't be too like I, I don't know if what I'm asking is like what's what's the the reasoning behind that question is like it, it you think it's a good idea to write that um, again you kind of have to test it out um, it, it could it could work for you it depends on you know like if your page is 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 you and it's 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 your person then it's cool to 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 come you know to to put that type of language in your advertising where it's kind of just like personable like hey check out what my mentor wrote you know. Um, you could also say, you know, I like using my friend. I like using just like things that are really uh, sometimes mentor could be, you know, a little bit uh, intimidating. So maybe try like one headline that says my mentor, one headline that says my friend, and you know, see what see what happens. But it really comes out to testing. But yeah, um, you could. I mean, you could write that absolutely. The the point is, is that a lot of people share uh, content online, especially on Facebook. They share blog posts, whatever interests them. So um, you know. If you want to establish that you have that connection, you know, because you're you're learning from uh, from Fernie, then then great. Um, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary. I hope that answers the question. Yeah, man, I was just answering some questions here uh, in real time. So um, Melissa says the reason is is if uh, I promote something that then it shows up as written by Fernie, it might be disconnected, but yeah, Melissa, uh, it's not a, it, it might be a disconnect, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, I, a lot of our members have, have done extremely well uh, promoting just our, our blog post by itself, even though they're using their account, you know, and, and it doesn't make too much of a difference. But obviously, you know, every little bit counts, but uh, it's still, it, it'll still convert and work for you. And uh, another, another gentleman, Robert, said, can we market these live videos? Absolutely, uh, Robert, you can share these videos. Uh, on your own fan page and and uh, you know replace our link with uh, your link and, and be good so as long as you're promoting uh, our products or Elite Marketing Pro we're, we're all good so that's it for today Sebastian thanks so much for being on brother uh, people yeah. can, people can't actually uh, see me let me turn on my little camera here okay there I'm, I'm there in the little corner what's up guys uh, so, I don't... <laughs> uh, yeah, it, so all right, guys. Thanks so much. That concludes our live for today. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Cool. Thank you, Fernie.